Hi all, Elaine here from MRE Studio Designs. And today I'm gonna to be working with some new things. Um, I have some uh, mica powders. I have some Sculpey Primo Black, my tools, my roller, blades, craft knife, a couple other things. And these are some new uh, cutters that I got from Creative Dork. They are for feathers. And I've never used them before, so we're gonna do this for the first time. And a collar that uh, we're going to use, not the whole thing, we're probably gonna only use about half of it, uh, but I needed something for a template. So let me get started and I will be right back. So I've rolled out the black clay on a number three on my pasta machine. And I'm not sure what colors I want to use for my feathers, so I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to cut them out first, then I'm going to use the mica powders to color them. So I want a bunch of different sizes, so we're going to start out with the large one. And we're just going to cut out a bunch of them. At least a couple of each one. Now the one thing about these cutters is that they are all going in the same direction. But on the other hand what I can do is once they're all cut out I'll just turn them upside down and they'll be going the way that I want them to. Now had I already put the mica powder on these to get them to go in another direction, I would have to turn it over and stamp it from the back. And since I haven't colored these yet, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I like these cutters because they have a very fine edge to them. I'll leave the link at the bottom where I got the cutters from. I'm going to uh, put mica powders on them, so I want to put them on a piece of paper so I don't get my desk all messed up. And in the meantime, I will clean off the edges as best as I can. So here are our feathers, and now we're going to start putting some mica powders on them. I'm gonna start with a blue, and just try to go around the top. And maybe some green. Um, maybe just a little touch of magenta, not a lot. We saw this other green. Probably mix up the colors as we go along. So we're just going to do this one. Don't forget to do your edges. Okay, so we have those two. I'll finish the rest off camera, but I just want to put the detail on them. What I'm going to take next is a needle tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a line right down the middle, just like so. And then with my little metal brush, I'll do the veins of the feather. And 
the same thing on this side. That looks like a feather, right? I'll do this other one. Now you can do these little individual lines with your with your tissue blade or your craft knife. But this this comes in really handy for doing stuff like this. You could do many at the same time. Okay, so that's what our feathers are going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other ones and then I will be back. Okay, so we're back and we're just finishing up our last couple of feathers here. And it, it doesn't take very long at all. Just really quick with the brush, the metal brush. And we're all done with this part. So these are all of our feathers. They're pretty. And we are going to go on to the next step. Okay, so I have my gold clay rolled out, and it's rolled out uh, on my thickest setting. Because I don't think I'm going to put another backing on this afterwards, but we'll see. And I have my, my cutter here. And what I want to do is I just want it from here to here. I don't want the whole thing. So we're going to cut this out. And press all the edges down really good and pick this up take this out take this out We'll use our knife. And we want it from here. To here. There we go. And take those off. Okay, so we have our form. And we're going to pick that up. And we're going to clean off our edges. Since I don't think we're going to have another backing on this, I'm going to go ahead and um, texture my back now, as I usually do. Okay, little metal brush again. And I'm going to just go all the way across. One side. And then the other way. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to put it on our form for our necklace. So I'm going to pick this up again. Bring our form in. And we're going to put it right on there. And hopefully it will stick. Now this is going to be the fun part because I've never done this one before. So we're going to be fiddling around where it's where the where the uh, feathers are going to go. We are doing uh, clay to clay, so I don't think we need to worry about um, bacon bond. But I think I want to start with this one right here. We're up a little further, actually. 
Maybe he has a large one coming down the other way or not. Just don't stick them down too hard so you can move them around if you want to. Yeah, that's starting to look pretty good. And then we're going to fill in with the rest of these. I think this will go underneath here. And this one will go under here, like that. And then we have these little ones around the top. There we go. And that's going to be our necklace. This is going to come down a little bit this way. And we could take that little point off. Okay, so here is our necklace. So we're going to put this in the oven for half an hour at 275, recommended temperature and time from the manufacturer. And when we take it out, then we will finish it up. And I will be right back. So here is our piece out of the oven. It's the front, the back. So we're going to put some resin on this and a chain and we will be all done. This is gonna go on here. And we want a very thin layer of uh, resin so we don't fill in all the little cracks and, and uh, make them disappear. I have a dedicated brush for this which I keep covered so it doesn't get any light on it otherwise it's going to get very hard and we're just going to put some resin on here. Not a lot just a little to give it some shine. So let's see where we're at.
I like using a brush because it, I feel like it gives me more control over what I'm doing. Like I said, we're not doming this or anything. We just want to give it some shine, bring the colors out a little bit more. The resin really does make these colors pop. Make sure we're all covered. Let me get my cloth here and just wipe that up. Okay, so we're going to put this under the UV lamp, and I have an LED UV lamp that does run for half an hour. I have the link at the bottom. For it and once we get the front done then we'll do the back add our chain and we will be done so we will be right back so here we are at the end of another tutorial and this is our completed piece front and back I didn't want to drill into the piece and I didn't want the uh, connections showing so I used my smallest bales to hold the chain in place. And there we go, completely done. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if you like, and I will see you next time. Thank you.